What is going on guys? In last video we have successfully completed the complete checkout process where we have added the items from the cart to the orders and also we have cleared the cart items. In this video we will design the profile page where we will display all the user details like image, name, email, address so that we can update it also the view my orders button so that we can check all the orders also we will add the sign out feature to log out from the application which will navigate us to the login screen so let's get back to the video so first let's close everything and then we'll go to profile you can see over here we have profile page now we have to go to the file to start the designing so file is in pages profile page we have created earlier here you can see text profile page we need to remove it and start designing the first thing what i will do i'll create a column i'll add a modifier first to modifier dot fill max size and padding around 16 dp now what you want to display if you go to cart page what we are doing over here we are displaying your cart so i'll copy same text and paste it over here it will be your profile let's see how it looks now you can see your profile now we can display the profile so what are the things we can display if you go to fire store in the users collection you can see we have address we have cart items email name uid is not mandatory to display we can display name email address and we can make it editable so these things we can display in the profile so whatever you want to display you can get the data and display so for these things we need to get the user model first what we will do we'll create a variable user model member mutable state of user model class so we'll get this on launch defect we have done it 100 times launch defect unit firebase dot firestore dot collection we have users collection dot document firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid we'll get the current user model so get dot add on complete list so if it is successful we'll assign it to result it dot result dot to object user model class dot java now we'll get the user model over here we'll assign it to user model dot value equals to result that's it if result is not equal to null then we'll do this now we'll get the user model if you see over here below this text i will just display user model dot value dot to string let's run it you can see we have all the data now we need to display it that's it let's remove this so first thing i will just display an image over here only the text will not be good you can make your application to take the profile picture as well and store it in like cloudinary or github however we were storing these images that i will not do as of now i will just show a simple profile picture which i have downloaded this is the profile icon i will display this so i will just copy this paste it in resources res and drawable paste it you can change the name and click on ok now i'll display the image so below this text i'll just use image painter will be painter resource r dot drawable dot we need to import this r dot profile icon we have content description is profile icon let's put it on separate line now here i will add modifier also modifier dot uh, height around 200 dp and width will be fixed fill max width let's see now we have to restart since we have added the new image profile you can see we have this beautiful cat image now below this we will display all the details so first thing will be name so text what will be the name name will be from user model dot value dot name font size let's make it bigger 22 sp put it on separate line let's make font weight at bold also and we will put it in center so modifier modifier dot fill max width it will take the whole width and text align will be center now we will see the name over here test one so current user name is test one let's keep spacer pair dot height 20 dp text now i'll display other things over here one by one so first thing let's add address font size let's say 18 sp and font weight font weight dot medium to run separate lines so we'll show the address below this so if i run now you can see address so if you show address over here below this let's say user model dot value dot address you can display the address over here whatever the address is there in the address field so here it is displayed but we want to make it editable so what we will do we will simply make it add a text field so that it will be editable and it will display also so it will solve the both things so what we will do instead of text we'll use text field here we have to provide certain things so value will be we can do user model dot value dot address but we can't assign whenever the value is changed to this user model dot value so so for that what we will do we will create a new variable just a variable where address input let's say by remember mutable state of empty variable initial value will be user model dot value dot address so it will take from it let's import get and set so it will take from the address but 
initially we don't have the address after getting it from the fire store we'll have to assign it so here what we will do in the if condition i will add bracket so that i can add next statement it will be address input equals to user model dot value dot address so now it will assign from the fire store to address input now we can change it and update it later so on value it will be address input on value change address input equals to it so if you now see restart profile you can see we can update the address i have updated it is updating locally but there is no option for updating it to fire store so once everything is updated and clicked on some button or done we have to update it to the fire store so that later when we come back it will be the updated address so for that what we will do we will add a keyword option over here if you see we have this keyword option that is next line but instead of this here i will add a done button so that whenever you click on that button it will auto update to the fire store so for that in text field we can do keyboard options keyboard options dot default dot copy ima action ima action dot done so instead of the default one we have added done so on click of this how we can do so here keyword actions we have keyword actions on done what we can do on done whenever we click on done we have to update to fire store so here we need to add the statement to update to the fire store let's see either done button appears or not first you can see over here you can see this is done button whenever we click on this it will call this method so you can do that so how we can update so to update firebase dot fire store dot collection users dot document firebase auth dot get instance the current user dot uid dot update what we want to update we want to update the address field you can see add rss address field with the value that is address input so here we'll add the if statement if this input dot is not empty so if it is not empty then only we will update if it is empty we'll show a toast so here after updating we can add complete listener if it not is successful then we can show a toast app util dot show toast we need a context so for context i'll create a variable well context equals to local context dot current context address updated successfully if it is empty we can say address can't be empty that's it so this text field is done we can test it if we run go to the profile you can say instead of usa i will write canada now i have to click on this done button you can see address updated successfully if i go to the fire store and check you can see over here it's canada now now again if i want to update it to usa address will be updated successfully that's it this purpose is also done let's make it let's make this text field take the full width so modifier equals to modifier dot will max width that's it now below this what we can display we have displayed address now we can display the email you can make the email editable also but for now what i will do i will just copy this spacer and this title below this spacer let's make it 12 dp and instead of this address it will be email if you want to make it editable you can add text field similar like this but i will just add the text so text user model dot value dot email that's it you can see we have email address is editable we have the email as well now what you want to display if you want to display number of item in cart you can do like same thing let's copy everything and paste it here number of items in cart value dot cart items dot values dot how we can do sum dot to string it will add all the items if we have one item only it will show one let's see number of items in cart one plus we can do terms or let it be like this so you can do this or you can skip this i'm just doing for demo purpose so that's it let's increase the cart let's see you can see number of items in cart two let's add this also you can see three so cart information you have here also but here we want to show the orders so how we can show the orders it will be a long list of orders so what i will do i will add a button over here whenever we click on that button my orders it will take to the next page there we will display the orders we have the orders in orders collection from all the users so what we will do we'll just create a button over here my orders so for that what i will do below this cart items i'll add spacer first same thing instead of number of items in cart here i will do view my orders you can see view my order we have to make it clickable so that we can click it so modifier equals to modifier dot say fill max width first dot clickable and on click of this we can do something also i'll add padding of 16 dp so that the button will be bigger if i run now 
you can see it is clickable let's add only vertical padding you can see now it's clickable so on click of that we can go to next page so how we can go to next page so for that we have to create a page first let's go to pages create a file let's say orders page file composable orders page here we can give a text orders page here we will show the orders so to navigate from here what we have to do in the app navigation we have to we have to define so let's copy this below i will define it as orders orders and it will be orders page so that's it now from profile page what we can do global navigation dot nav controller dot navigate to orders if i run now let's restart go to profile click on view my orders you can see we are in the order page in this way we will show the orders in orders page now whatever the data you want to display you can display over here while sign up you can take the data and you can display over here make that editable this is your choice you can make the name also editable one last thing i will add here is sign out button there is no any place where we can log out so we will add a button over here when click on that we will be signing out from the application so for that below this i will create a text button on click we will do something inside that we'll add a text which will be sign out font size let's make it 18 sp let's see you can see over here we'll add it in a center so in the text button we'll add modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width dot align alignment dot center horizontally so if i run it is in center so on click of this what we need to do we have to sign out so here on click of the text button firebase auth dot get instance dot sign out that's it now it will sign out now when i click on sign out it will delete all the local data of the user and it will sign out but we have to navigate it to login page also whenever we click on sign out we should not be in this page we should be navigated to login page so here what i will do we'll navigate to login page also we will clear the back stack whenever we click on sign out everything will be cleared from the back stack so that when we click on back button it should not come over here it will be only the login page so for that we'll clear the back stack like we were clearing in checkout phase if you notice in the checkout page what we were doing after checkout in main activity here we were doing nav controller then pop back stack we are popping back stack and we were navigating to home same way we have to do let's copy these three lines and in the profile page whenever we click on sign out here nav controller will get pop back stack and we will not go to home will go to login since if you go to app navigation we have the login page over here you can see this one so either you can go to login page or we have the auth page as well you can go to auth page so either login or auth it is your choice so we need to test it so let's run now go to profile we have the data let's click on sign out you can see immediately we are in auth page if i click on back also application is closed and back stack is cleared so that is working if you navigate to login page it will be directly to this page but i have navigated to auth page so that's why it is opened auth page so now let's log in again test uh, one at gmail.com and i have given the password one 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 login test one it's test one login we are logged in again you can see we have sign out page same way if I log out, log in, I can log in with second id dot com. It's two 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 two. This is the second user that is test. Go to profile test two. We don't have any address. We have email, number of item in cart. If you see over here for the second user, we don't have address. So you can add address. Let's say forty five High Street, Ontario, Canada. Let's click on done address updated successfully you can see we have the address now if i click on cart and go to profile you can see we have the address now so this is good and it's working we have the view my orders we have the email we can click on sign out so you can design this page however you want to so that's all for this video in next video what we will do we will display all the orders of the user in this orders page we have the orders in orders collection from the different user but we will display only the orders from my user and we will show the complete order details with order status so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye